working on this 856 belt guard here. Got the front piece finished. Now the bottom doesn't have anything to support it there. So there's some broken pieces under there. And that's what I'm going to fix now. Alright, I got the belt guard off. You can see where this piece is broken off here. And there's another piece broken off there. So those should come out to provide a place to bolt the belt guard on. So this is what the piece is supposed to look like. I'm going to make some of those so I can weld them in place. So that's made out of 1 8 by 1 half inch stock. You can see this bend is not very tight right there, so I'm going to try to duplicate that radius. Alright, I got me a drawing here to go by. And I'm going to start at the end where the threaded hole is. So you can see the part where the threaded hole protrudes 5 eighths out from that surface. So I'm going to make that bend first. So I have a piece of tubing here with a nice radius on the corner. I have this piece clamped in the vise and it protrudes out about 5 eighths of an inch. Alright, this is what I came up with to get this to bend the way I want it to bend. Got my piece of tubing there with the known radius that I want to duplicate. Underneath this piece of tubing I got a piece that's almost an eighth of an inch, so my total stack up here is about an inch and an eighth. So that gives me the right height. So I don't want to bend this over with this long piece attached, so I'm going to mark it here and cut it off. Alright, I got my foot clamped down to give me the right height. I got this piece clamped against the side. And that should hold it right where I want it. That looks pretty close.
So I looked at those two surfaces where those mount, and they're on the same plane. So I said, uh, hey, those are probably going to be the same size. But if you look at the belt guard, it's got a little reinforcement plate on that one particular hole. And that is the one that's being used. So this mounting tab has to be a little bit shorter than that mounting tab. So at first I made them all the same. And so I went ahead and remade some other ones, used the same process. So I'm not going to show that over again. But you need one that's a little higher than the other. So to position those, I put the uh, belt guard on here and got all the bolts in position so it's in the right place. And then basically crawl underneath there and move them, move the clamps around until you get them clamped in the right place. So I try to center the holes in the slot on these mounting bolts here, and then I try to center the hole behind these slots so it's in the middle of its adjustment travel. If these end up being off a little bit, you can do some final adjustment just by bending them in the position. Looks like the holes are going to line up. Yeah, that's a lot better. So I got some paint on there, keep it from rusting. And of course, these will be covered up by the belt guard, so you won't see that shiny paint. See, it scratched off the surface there where I've had the belt guard on and off a few times. Alright, there it is. Got uh, four small bolts and this one bolt up in the front holding it. That's it.